Guardians of the Galaxy, a game that took us by surprise during Square Enix presentation. This brand new take on Marvel's ragtag group of heroes is somewhat refreshing. Follow Peter Quill and his gang as they embark on an interstellar adventure. Gameplay is similar to Marvel's Avengers, but with a strong focus on single-player story-driven gameplay and only Quill as the playable character. Guys, huddle up! There's still a lot of things that don't add up with the reveal, but we'll get some answers soon before it comes out this October 26. Back for Blood It's time we say goodbye to the Left 4 Dead craze now that Valve has completely abandoned any hope for future content. The creators of that classic zombie shooter are currently pumping out a better multiplayer experience with Back for Blood. This zombie PvE can let you play with up to three friends and face off against hordes of dangerous undead or engage in fun PvP where you play as the monsters. The beta was well received so let's hope the full game goes up and beyond to prove that. It's coming this 12th of October and available on the Game Pass four days after. Far Cry 6 Ubisoft's next first-person shooter slash open-world adventure is taking us to Yara, a fictional town ruled by a ruthless dictator played by none other than Giancarlo Esposito. Become a freedom fighter and save the oppressed people from Anton's bloody rule. As with all Far Cry games, you'll have a variety of weapons at your disposal. This time around, you're equipped with a backpack rocket launcher, and you can use animals to aid you in your missions to destabilize the government. Coming this October 7. Stalker 2, Heart of Chernobyl. One of Microsoft's most ambitious projects, a franchise that's more than 10 years old. Stalker's next chapter is gearing up for the next-gen experience. The world of Pripyat is as terrifying as ever, with crazy anomalies and mutated creatures. Looking at the trailer, the gunplay looks smooth, and the visuals and atmosphere are phenomenal. <laughs> it's available to play on Game Pass once it comes out on April 28, 2022. Dying Light 2 
The sequel to the impressive open-world zombie parkour game from the creators of the now-forgotten Dead Island series. Now with today's technology backing its gameplay, enjoy a living and breathing world full of undead. This time, it's leaning more into RPG territory. Make your own decisions and pick a faction from its splintered world. Hop from building to building during daytime, but be careful during the night. Coming out on December 7. Battlefield 2042. The next generation of first-person shooters is coming this October 22nd. If you're expecting a story-driven adventure or a strong campaign, you might be disappointed since 2042 is strongly focused on multiplayer. Engage in insane, ever-changing battlefields and open-world firefights with players from around the world. Ride choppers and tanks and blow them up to smithereens in true new-gen visuals. Just look at that sandstorm, dude.